So apparently this will lead us to the tower, guys. The left tower of this building. I'm following it up, hoping we can get there. The key, some reason, works for the fourth floor. That's it. This is crazy. We're going into the hundred and like 49 year old tower. Oh my God. Explorers, this is a crazy video. You want to stay tuned for this because it's the first time in my entire life have I seen anything like this. They converted an asylum that's over 148 years old into a hotel, an urban kind of hotel actually. The renovation of this place was over $102 million. Guys, we are at an asylum, a Kirkbride, that's still almost pretty pristine. Look at the top, look, how, look at the gothic towers above us. By the end of this video, as we explore inside this hotel, we are gonna go climb the towers. At least we're gonna try. I don't know if that's even possible. There's so much to explain in this video. First off, we are in Buffalo, New York and this is called Buffalo State Asylum. The asylum was starting to be built in the 1870s and it wasn't fully built until the 1890s. This took over 20 years to build this. This is a Kirkbride development, guys. A Kirkbride is actually my favorite asylum you can ever do. It's like the building layout. It's a Kirkbride building layout and it resembles like a bat wing. And the reason why is you're gonna see with the drone footage is that it just zigzags like a maze all the way down from each other like this. It's just like a wing. And they did that because they thought and they believed that natural sunlight going through all the windows and by the way explorers we're going to be seeing a lot of windows and these are the original windows to this asylum back what i was saying I, I literally had to bring that up so this place has so many windows because they believed in natural sunlight they believed in like not be making a, an asylum into just a big square tower they wanted to make patients walk around feel like they're free they believed in natural therapeutic kind of vibes like that and uh, engaging with your patient next to you and talking to them they wanted that they wanted patients to talk and that's exactly how this place was it was all lit up through natural sunlight and, and that kind of airflow again this was built before electricity even started this place is a true gem this is a hotel re-renovated from the asylum everything in here is pretty much almost all original and you're gonna be seeing this and then I'm gonna get even deeper into this video obviously I'm this is like more of a hotel review but there will be a part two we will be exploring the abandoned side of this place let's keep going I mean this place literally blows my mind I cannot wait to show you the inside it's like I always say like oh I wish I can go back in time and time travel to an asylum so I can see what it used to look like well, they did exactly that. This is as close as an asylum as we can ever get because this is like one of the only, if not the only one I have ever heard of that we can actually stay the night in that's been converted into a hotel. All right, Explorer, here's some more information. The left side is where the, all the male patients were. I mean, again, look how far it goes down. You can't, this doesn't do it justice. Only the drone could show how far this actually goes down. And it goes all the way down there. And then if you go to this side, the right side, the right side was the last place to be developed. And that was until the 1890s. And this was the woman's side. So technically, this place was actually running in the 1800s, 1880 to be exact. But that was for the male's ward. And explorers, take a look at this tower. Does this remind you of anything? This actually, this model, this asylum layout was used in the game Outlast, number one. Again, I love history and this is, is so mind-blowing to me. And I'm, I'm really appreciating it. Shout out to Hotel Henry, because that's the place we're, we're in right now. This is the, the people that converted this place and took it over. And you know what, we want the funny thing is, is that the city got sued in the 1900s, late 1900s, they got sued because they, were, they just left this building sitting here. So they were forced to, to actually like fix it up. The city got sued and all the taxpayers put their money to kind of get this place going in. And that's when one company, Hotel Henry, took it over and said, hey, we got this idea, it's gonna work. And it's working. It was built in 2017, guys. As we walk through the right side, the towers just are iconic. They stick out, they're super tall. And look at the windows on the right side. All of them have been covered with this kind of tinfoil metal so you can't go through. And one last history segment before we go inside and give more. Guys, I read all this in my head and I'm still remembering it because I'm just so interested in this. When this place was built in the 1800s, late 1800s, there was no surrounding buildings here. It was just complete farmland. It was just the Kirkbride itself. And 
every Kirkbride that was built back in the day were all exactly like that. But obviously, you know, society is booming, businesses are booming, ideas come, more people are flooding the scene, and they start building next to it and building next to it. And that's just what happened. What I admire most about this asylum is the fact that these little wings right here connect to the next building you can see. It's so cool and it just keeps going. It keeps connecting with more wings. It is now time to go in Hotel Henry, formerly known as Buffalo State Asylum. You know, people can say this place looks like, you know, um, Hogwarts because it kind of really does. But we'll see how it looks on the inside. Oh my gosh, just looking up right in front of it looks crazy. Now we're in the main lobby. This is what they, you know, spent the hundred and two million dollars on refurbishing all this now the main doors obviously these weren't the ones that were you know renovated but as we get in you'll start seeing things that look like it could have been original maybe in question about it here we go we'll start off you know I don't know where I'm going guys my room to get to my room is so crazy you get lost we'll start off in the beginning see if you actually want to do a tour they do tours. I think it's May through October and you can actually get in the right side apparently. That's what rumors are saying. Can we go inside here? Oh, we can't go inside here. Looks like some, you know, oh my god. Look at that old wheelchair. It's just wood. That's a rare one. Uh, I guess, yeah, if you're doing the tour, you get to see, you know, read about everything about the asylum. Wish I told you a bunch of stuff on already. Again, look at this. The basement. We're in the, literally we're in the basement right now. These tunnels would technically lead all the way to the right and left side. That's both abandoned. But I'm I'm positive they sealed it off. But I, I actually never explored this. I was saving it. So we're just seeing where we go. Again, all re-renovated. We're walking through a hundred and forty like nine year old asylum right now. I wonder if these doors like if these key cards work. Oh, it don't work. <laughs> I'm sure these would bring you like, actually that brings you to the museum, this door does. But this exit sign, I mean, it could actually bring you to like the left wing. My mind gets curious. It's like, what's locked, what's not locked? Oh, the door worked. <laughs> oh, that's just the network. Now, as we go on through this tour, I'm gonna point some things out that's like, this is, this is crazy. Or, you know, the things I usually say, it gets exciting. They turn this whole place into like a modern yet luxury style place. And you're gonna see it. it's like an urban style too. Let's see where this goes. Oh, that's cooking. <laughs> we do not wanna go that way. Now I am sure there's secrets around here that the workers know about that can take you to certain spots. I, I'm, I, they're not gonna help me out, but it's just, I'll just try to find out what I can as we go. The main lobby has a cafe and a restaurant. Look how this looks now. This is crazy. I can only imagine what this area looked like before though. But again, all original. Check out this rail right here. Oh, Danny. Dude, what's up? Yo. What? I, dude, silent. yeah, guys, I forgot to explain. There's actually five of us staying here tonight in one room and we're all vlogging and vibing out and it's been an amazing time. So what, dude, where have you seen? Let me tell you about these windows right here. Come on. Okay, oh, okay. Take my boy on the tour real quick, hold on. All right, I like this. Actually, this is not the right window, Josh. This ain't the right window? No, but I mean, this is a dual cross. You see the a window? A dual cross. There's two crosses, but this is not the window that I want to show you. The window that I want to show you is actually upstairs from here. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, so I ran into the owner. It's like some random dude with glasses, dude. And I was like, who the heck is this guy telling me a bunch of facts about the whole place? Like, he gave me a bunch of facts about the windows and how, like, the church... Oh, okay, so the church and the hospital couldn't be, like... We couldn't have it separate, so they had to sneak in one of those crosses into the window. I'm like they, they built it, they integrate it into it. Watch. A cross though. Yeah. Okay. okay, we need to figure this out. I was saying like if Seth gets possessed, I'm just gonna throw Seth into the window. So where's everyone else by the way? Are they in- oh, they're, they're at the cafe vibing out. That's right there. Yeah, right there. All right, we'll check that out. There's after. also a bar room in there. A bar room? Yeah, dude, we need oh, to- Oh, okay, look through <laughs> That's <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> oh my God, look at this area though. Unbelievable. I hope we can check online to see if we can get before and after shots of this when they were making it. Cause look at this. What drives me insane is the high ceilings that they have here. That's what's amazing, it's so large. 
So they have this cross integrated right here. A cross. Exactly, because they couldn't put a church oh. separate from there. You see it? Yo, I do see the cross. That's so cool. That is actually really cool. He, the dude was like, yo, do you guys see what's in the middle of this hallway? Like, what do you guys see? And we're just standing there like, hmm. Then I'm like, yo, dude, it looks like a cross. And it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a cross there. Actually, that's true because in the drone shots, when I flew a drone, it had the cross uh, symbol in the outside. Mm -hmm. Dude, that, that's actually really cool. Yo, where is the owner? I don't know. We're going to find him. <laughs> he's, he's Mission to is to find the owner. Oh, dude, we got to find a way inside the towers later. Maybe if we cause like a big scene, the owner will come out and we can get him to talk to us. No, <laughs> no, I really that like that. Dude, look at the maze we're in right now. The long corridor hallways, all the way down there, different rooms, it's insane. But we're definitely getting those towers. I don't care what it takes. Dude, we are, that's the mission. All right, we're back down. We're gonna check out the cafe here. We're vibing out, but there's a lot more here to see. Let's see if the crew's here. Oh, they did? Oh, man. Oh, there's even a bar here, damn. So over here is like a little art exhibit. Again, we're still on the first floor. We're gonna check it out. That's cool. I like how they like promote urbex or, you know, urban exploring in a, in a sense. I don't know whose art this is, but shout out to you guys. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at this piece. Again, it's like a very, oh, ooh, a very bougie kind of spot, but really, it delivers a lot. If you're into, you know, my videos, this kind of is still on brand. Really unique place. We're heading upstairs. I'm going to show you the room we're staying in, but I got a huge surprise for you guys. And this is what actually took me by surprise myself. Like, I was kind of mind blown by this. First of all, I want to say that this place was only built for 600 patients, but they actually, at its prime time, stuffed 3,000 people here. Obviously. Oh, what up, dudes? Yeah, yeah, here. Yo, there's so much history. I'm like spitting facts like crazy out here. It's crazy. This place is just like, it's full of facts, full of history. And it's like half modern, half a bit. <laughs> That's Every... what I'm saying. Yo, how's the cafe? I was just it's in there. really good, dude. Yesterday. I just had latte art for the first time in my life. Latte art? Yeah, like they pour the flour in the, in the latte. Okay, everything. there you go, kids. Super cool. All right, I'm going out. I'm looking around. All right, bet. My room is in the West Wing, and that's where we're going to. Again, hey, on the second floor. Let me check this out. Like I said before, there's art exhibits everywhere here. What is this exactly? It's like a, a, a little dollhouse room, but just stacks up all the way to the top. When I first came here last night, this is where things got trippy. Wait, let's see what this is. Oh, just a kitchen. Okay. We're now in the Kirkbride, second floor, going to where the patients actually would have stayed that we're now staying in. Again, people can come here to do ghost videos. There's so much you can do here. It, or just vibe out and go to the cafe. And again, as you can see, I'm going through this hallway. I just took a turn through this hallway now. And here we go again, another hallway. Coming in this large room. Walking through again. Now this is where the Kirkbride gets its Kirkbride name. You know, and why the patients were feeling so, you know, maybe healthy, I guess. And this place was built for the sunlight. This is one of the wings. These are the wings that we're going to be connecting through all the time to get to every building. The other wing, the east wing, we're going to go to after this, has all its tiles, original tiles on the ground from over 140 plus years old. And here we go. Check this out. Explorers, this is insane. Look at all the hallways. This is 200 feet. This is a 200 foot hallway, actually 216 foot hallway to be exact. And it goes all the way down. No hotel would actually have this, but it's because obviously it was renovated from the asylum days. All these rooms on the side of us are where the patients used to actually be. Original doors. Original windows. Look at this. Look how small these doors are. Because these were the patient's doors originally. Little air shafts. You've actually seen this if you watch American Horror Story. Asylum. How they all look like that. 
And this is an artist, he has an exhibit here for butterflies. And his name, I don't know if that's his name per se, but I'll just add that in there just in case. All made, you know, I like it because it's all white now. It's all full of light. And before I think it was like green tinted everywhere. And if you're wondering why there's no one here, it's because I don't know, not many people are staying here. It's a Monday, it's off season. And this place is actually, as of right now, can currently hold mm, maybe about a hundred plus people where you can stay. There's only 88 rooms in this whole entire place. Again, we're on the second floor. We still have to get onto the fourth floor because those are where the suites are. And you can see like the beams of the cathedral ceilings. Again, explorers, we are in the west wing and this is the male ward side. I'm gonna show you what my room looks like because it's right around here. But also I wanna pinpoint that this is the original piece for the fireplace here with this gothic architecture right here. It's gonna be sick, I'm gonna give you a close up in a minute. But what I wanted to say, cause I actually forgot is that <clears throat> all the wards closed in 1970s. The rest that was open until the 1990s was just different areas, but it wasn't, it wasn't really like for patients, it was more for like work different things, work purposes. And they moved all the patients from here into another building. And then in 2008, there was a fire, again, but this place was, again, still abandoned. And again, that's when they got sued. And that's how this place became. I'm so mind blown by this, I really am. Right here is where, at the hotel, we were sitting down with the chairs. And if you look here, Here's the fireplace. Now, obviously we're on the other side of the ward. The side that we were on had a kind of gargoyle looking face right here. But this one is different, but still the same exact layout. But again, yeah, check this out right here. And you know, I have an eye for architecture and designs and art. So I was like, oh dude, this looks super cool. Even the same, oh, these are real too. The same original tiles. What? I'm actually digging these butterflies. Mine's like American Horror Story. And check up there, the original stained glass. I love how the light is just shining through here. There's so much like different portrait shots anybody can take. Exactly like even this right here. Hey explorers, here's my room in the West Wing. We're going in. Okay, it's a mess, but I just want you guys to get the idea. This is what we stayed in. We paid $160 a night here. We split it between five. It really wasn't that bad. Again, check out the ceilings, how high they are. <sighs> it's pretty standard though. This ain't the suite. This is just a basic room, but hey, we wanted to stay here. Again, I'll show you guys the bathroom. Again, this five was here, so it's all messy. <laughs> it's sick. You know what's also weird? I'm filming this video as if it's an abandoned video but it's not abandoned video. This gives me ideas now. I'm like, should I stay at like crazy hotels and just kind of like film them as we go and do like a review on them? Let me know in the comments below. So it was not until 1986 that this place was registered as a national historic landmark, which means this place could not be knocked down. It is illegal to get knocked down. Also, what's cool is that if you were to buy a national historic landmark or anything that was registered as historic in general, you would actually, from the city itself, get a tax like bonus. So you wouldn't have to pay as much taxes here or you'd be giving money because it's the city's way of saying, hey, I appreciate you for buying and keeping the history alive. We just left the west wing and now we're heading to the east wing. I want to show you guys the original tiles still before we head to the fourth floor. Third floor, I'm not sure if we can even allow it to go up, but we could try it anyway. So explorers, here it is right now. They're still in the process of renovating these tiles. It is a $15,000 process going on right now and it's currently still ongoing. Look at this right here. It's the other wing and it looks so dope. I'm not sure what they got going on here though, but at night it's gonna kind of glow, look cool. I love this though. So technically this is the female side, but there's only so much here. It's a lot shorter than the male side. That's active. Okay. Oh, what the heck is Seth doing down there? What is he doing? Oh, helicopter! Whoa! Oh!
So we are heading to the fourth floor right now. And apparently the front desk said, if we go to the fourth floor, we can see like the cathedral kind of beams that's holding the building together, the original one. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Fourth floor also has a ballroom. I'm pretty sure we can't go to it yet, but when we attempt to go to the tower, then maybe. Oh yeah, see we're here. Yeah, I think it's like where all the sweets are. You can even smell, I don't know. Oh, dude, look at this door. Look at this door. What's in that door? Hey, let's use my key card. Does it work? <laughs> what is this? Uh, it doesn't go anywhere, though. That is crazy. Nothing. This is renovation in its finest, though. Look at that. All through here. It even goes all the way down there. What? What is this? Like, what does that even do? I guess it's to hold something. I forgot to tell you guys about the ballroom. Yeah, the third floor is cool. The original staircase. Yeah, the original staircase right there. And that's where the stage is. Who knows? We got a little bit. I don't know what else is here, but this is awesome. I love that. Just a wide open room to chill. That's exactly why I love this place though. Everything's just open for you to explore and walk around. So explorers, we explored this whole entire place except the fitness room I think left and then the tower. I love the history here. I like the idea here. I like the people here. I mean, a lot of stuff off camera has been really cool. I probably should have documented everything, but I wanted to show you just the hallways and the architecture and how they changed it. Again, $102 million it took to re-renovate it, change it up. Um, Danny said the hotel owner is really cool and he's proud of this place. I like it. I like everything about this. It's an amazing place to visit or just stop if you're around Buffalo, uh, New York. But we are going to attempt the tower. Let's go. So apparently this will lead us to the tower, guys. The left tower of this building. I'm following it up, hoping we can get there. The key, some reason, works for the fourth floor. That's it. This is crazy. We're going into the hundred and like forty-nine year old tower. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> now, unfortunately, it's really dark, so I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. But I have to climb this with one hand. Here we go. No looking back. You guys know I'm scared of heights. But this is the best Kirkbite Asylum I have ever seen in my life, and I have to get up there. I'm coming back. I'm too scared. I need a flashlight. So I decided I stopped myself from going up there because I wanted to get everybody. I found this on myself. I need my crew to see it too. I'm gonna get them, we're gonna go back together and go up on that tower. You know what's crazy too about this place is I'm always getting lost trying to find my room again. Going through the rooms and then this room and then that room. I'm like, how can I remember any of this? <laughs> I love Kirk Brides. I love this whole video in general. I love this place. It's amazing. They're gonna be like, how'd you find this? How'd you know where to go? How'd you even know how to get in the tower? Honestly, exploring bro, come on. Danny is getting out of his bed to come with me. Everyone's coming with me. I don't me. ever get out of my bed. Oh yeah, Iz is getting ready too. Dude, where is Seth and, and Casey? They have to experience what I just discovered. Like, for real. For real. You guys are gonna be like, how'd you, how'd you find this out? That's what you're gonna be like. How'd you find this out? I promise. We gotta find them where they are right now. I'm calling Seth up. See, everyone's out filming this whole place. It's like a whole maze in here. Just meet me back at, just meet me back at the room. I promise you what I'm gonna show you is gonna blow your mind. Yup, yup, beeline to the room, because what we're gonna film now is, is now or never. All right, I'll see you soon, all right. Imagine he's like running here. We're gearing up, this is it. I haven't even told him what we're doing. Nope, this no. is it. He actually spoiled it for me. So. All right, I just told him, but I didn't tell anyone else. But this is it, we're going. What's up? I, I also, again, I just have to tell everyone, we're staying in a, a patient's room here yeah, that just got, you know, <laughs> re-renovated for us. It's amazing. Just had to, you know, say that one more time. It's two in the morning almost, what time is it, like 1 a.m.? 
one or two in the morning now. We're stacked up already. There's like no one right now here. It's like off season. Thank God. This place had 88 rooms. Like if I did not say that, I'm saying it now. So it's kind of just dead. This is wild right now. We got everyone coming here just to get on here. Everyone, everyone's gonna appreciate this though. Like this is amazing history. I, I gotta do it. Is everyone here though? Yo, get up here. Get <laughs> Alright, now we're all here. See, it says private, no access. Would you look at that? Chris Hansen, and he was like, So, what are you doing here? I'm like, Wait, what the is I can't believe it. We made it in the tower right now. Look at this. You can't really see it, but we actually did it. Oh man, here's proof. Look at that. Yo, it's unbelievable. The roof is like a neo-gothic architecture with the green tint. Amazing. And there's the view. Just think about that before, there was no one here. All wide open land. 203 acres were here. All abandoned. Unused actually. Go so far down. Okay, though. Guys, we're getting back to the hotel room now. <laughs> we did it, though. I mean, it's a really cool accomplishment. I like it. Time to go. The ballroom in between the two towers. Many people during October surprisingly actually come here and rent this place out for weddings but pretty much everything. It is now super dark, and this is where we're gonna end the video, back in the hallway where it all started. The whole place is super lit up at night though. These huge spotlights. Explorers, this is where we end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is the first time I've ever filmed a hotel that's not abandoned using a abandoned kind of film style that I like to do. I really enjoyed this place, and I'm gonna end the video with uh, the last kind of information I wanna share. One of the reasons why they built the outside of this place to kind of look scary was to keep people from the outside wanting to come inside and like visit or see the people that were in here. They wanted it to look scary on the outside, but the inside was supposed to be extravagant, nice, relaxing, all white maybe, whatever they wanted to do with it. They wanted to make it nice and peaceful on the inside, but scary on the outside from the others. And yeah, I mean, the whole hotel tour was amazing. This place is really cool and I really enjoyed being here. Um, it's super late at night. I've just been kind of vibing out at night. At night, it's a dead zone in here. Super quiet. Everything's echoing. And I don't even know if there's anyone actually staying in any of these rooms. I never really see people walk in the hallway except us. It's amazing. Everyone has to stay the night here and just kind of chill. It's cool. Really, it's super cool here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Check out um, part two if it drops. It's going to be exploring the abandoned sides of this place. So rise above. Just get out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching. All right, so we know that that's the active side right here because that's Hotel Henry where the clock towers are. I'll try to go a little bit more this way to see what I can find here before we jet and take on this whole wing that goes all the way down. And this is the abandoned side all the way. Look how much stuff we have to go through and explore. And it goes so far down. Oh my God, I know where we are. This looks exactly like part in part one, guys. Oh my God, this is in part one. Oh. Yo. This is crazy. What I'm trying to say is that in part one, these other rooms that were renovated that we stayed in, 